up guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel so today I am finally 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 testing out the Fenty Beauty products by Rihanna and I actually filmed this video once before but my mic was off so here I am filming again so I was actually lucky enough to go to the launch event in New York got to meet Rihanna almost got a picture with Rihanna but that failed and I feel so blessed that I was actually invited to that event got my first hands on the products and I got sent home with a lot of products which I'm excited to try out and show you guys how they work on my skin but before that I do want to address the elephant in the room which is my voice the way that I talk because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about it asking why is she talking like that why are you talking like that so I do have a palette expander at the roof of my mouth it is a part of my braces journey so that causes me to pronounce certain words weird and just makes it harder to talk in general so yeah that's my life right now but bear with me guys so yeah let's just hop right into the video so the first thing that i'll be putting on is the pro filter primer i love the packaging it's like frosted glass and i think it's so beautiful so i'm gonna put a little bit of that all over my face so it is it does feel like a lotion and I feel like this feels like a night cream because it's a little bit thicker than a lotion, but yeah, it feels really good on the skin. So yeah, that felt really good. So when I went to the event, they matched me with the shade 450, but honestly, it's way too dark for my skin. So yeah, and I was actually really confused when it came to the foundation. Like shout out to Rihanna for coming out with 40 different shades. I think that's amazing. However, it was really hard for me to find my shade. And I feel like I'm seeing darker skin people wear lighter shades and lighter skin people wear the same shades as the darker skin people. So like I'm just like hella confused. So I had to go to Sephora and they matched me with 420 and 430. So I ended up going for the 430 because I'm always on vacation, always taking flights. So I'm like, I'm always getting darker. So that's when I went for it. And I like the undertone better. So we're going to try that out. So I forgot to mention that I did try to compare it to my NYX Total Control Foundation in Mocha. And I thought that the 430 and the Mocha looked somewhat similar so that's why i decided to pick it up and they do have similar consistencies in that it's very watery so yeah just to help you guys out if you're trying to find your match so i'm going to put it on one side of my face first to let you guys see the coverage and how it looks compared to my bare skin so i'm also going to be using the 110 foundation brush just to blend it out and this is really really soft so I like that about it so this foundation is blending out really really nicely and the funny thing is is that when I went into uh, Sephora at that time and she put it on my face she literally put it all over my face I totally forgot that I had it on because it's so skin like and I went to bed with it like I forgot I was wearing foundation so that's how you know this doesn't feel like you have anything on. So this is the side with foundation and this is the side without. I feel like it gives me a really skin-like airbrush finish and I feel like it matches pretty well with my neck. It could be a little bit orange but once I put on the concealer it will help it a little better but I am loving it. Breathe, you did your thing. It's actually way lighter than my arms. My arms are the darkest part of my body. Like they are, yeah, it's, it's real, real dark. So yeah, I can't really match it with my arms, but that's okay. I think it matches with the rest of my body, but let me know. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but my blemish is still peeking through and it's like raised over my skin. So that might be why it's kind of hard to cover up, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. So yeah, this is definitely light to medium coverage because it does not cover that at all. Okay, so at the event, I was able to pick up three of the matte matchsticks in Espresso, Coca, and Suede. So this is what they look like. And I love the fact that it's magnetic. I, I feel like that's so dope and so fun to play with. So I feel like I'm gonna make a song out of it. But um, so I'm gonna be using Suede for my under eyes and espresso for my contour. So I like how this is giving me a little natural highlight because I'm not into like the whole heavy highlight. And you do get a good size amount of product in it, so this is how much you get. 
and it's really thick so it's gonna last me a long time so I'll also be using her sponge and I actually really like this sponge it, to me it's softer than the beauty blender so I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this so and I like how it's shaped as well it just fits literally right under the eye so it's definitely not hard to blend it blends pretty well so I like that now I'm gonna go in with the color espresso and it's like this really deep dark chocolate color and I feel like it's a little bit red for like a contour but I don't mind that because I'd rather look bronze than to have like a gray contour because I'm not really into that so I don't mind this at all so this looks beautiful actually so we are just going to apply that And I don't really have a forehead, so I don't have to do much to it, but we're going to apply some there anyway. And then I'm going to blend it out with this sponge as well. You can literally see how easy it is to blend out and it leaves you like with a nice little contour there. So it does leave me like a nice little contour going on, not too much, which I like as well. I'm going to set my eyes with um, the Laura Mercier powder in medium deep. My first time trying this, so I'm excited. I'm just going to pack it in or pat it in. Ooh, it just literally melted into my skin. So I was also able to get my hands on the two matchstick cinnamon and rum and these two stood out the most to me so I thought I would buy it. I also want to get chili mango because that looks so bomb. So I love both of the colors. One is like a rose gold color and then one is more of like a true gold or champagne type color. So they are both really, really pretty. And I'm going to use my portable highlighter brush as well. I thought it was a roll up. It's a push up. And if you guys know me, you guys know I love my little cream highlighters. Put a little bit on there. It's looking good. Do you guys see that? It looks really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my god, that's so nice. I feel like I'm gonna highlight my bump right here, but whatever. I gotta get the nose. <laughs> Yo, I am in love right now. It's so, it's such a natural beat, and I'm all about natural beats, so boom. So, I'm also gonna put cinnamon on my eyeball. And I'm just gonna pat it in with my finger. I was also able to get my hands on three of the kilowatt, kilowatt, what? I'm joking, kilowatt freestyle highlighters, which are absolutely gorgeous. So I have to say that the packaging is really, really nice. Like, it's so sleek. The only thing about this is that opening this is so hard, especially if you have nails. I literally dig my nail into all of the pants, especially um, trophy wife. Like, this is messed up, okay? It's like up, so yeah. Um, Let's see if I can do it without dipping my nail. Okay, I got it. So this one is Hustle Baby and Need Money. So Hustle Baby has more of like a glittery gold champagne color in it. And then Need Money is like more matte and stuff. So I don't really like that color. I like the Hustle Baby. That's why I got it. So this is really, really pretty. So this one is Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. Both of these are rose gold, but Moscow Mule has more of a shimmer in it, which is really nice. And then Ginger Binge is just not as shimmery, but they're both really, really pretty. And I'm about to use some of this on my lid. And then the highlighter that everybody has been talking about, Trophy Wife. So this is literally like a yellow gold, yellow green gold. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I effed it up with my fingernails. Literally dug two holes in it. So yeah, that's what it's looking like. But it is a really nice color, but for me, I don't know if I can pull this off. Like, I know my girls, Halsey Hals, Chef, like, you guys, 
this looks amazing on you but on me like I tried it and I don't know I really liked it on the eyes but on my mm, I don't know if it was for me so we're gonna skip over trophy wife and we are gonna use ginger binge so I'm gonna apply a little bit of ginger binge on my lid And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of Moscow Mule in my inner tear duct. And I'm also gonna go back in with Espresso to just deepen my crease a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit on the brush. So my eyes are done, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Moscow Mule on my highlight. And I'm using the highlighter brush by Fenty Beauty as well. And we're just going to just tap it first. So this is my glow right now. I love it. I can see it popping, like I can see it popping. So I'm just gonna put my beauty blender over it just to blend it in a little bit more. Push it into my skin, but it's still popping. So the last thing to apply is the lip gloss, and literally when I was at the event, I picked up three of them because you guys know I freaking love lip gloss. Like lip gloss is my life, and this shit smells amazing. It smells like candy. It smells like juice. It smells like Kool Aid. Like oh, it literally makes my eyes roll to the back of my head. It's literally like permanent marker. It's like gasoline. It's one of those things that. Oops. Oops. It's one of those things that you just cannot get enough of. So I literally reach into my purse every single moment that I can get and put this on my lips because it smells so good. So yeah. Let me just apply it without a liner first, but usually I like to use a liner. So this is it without a liner. It literally matches like the look that I have going on with all the pins and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna try it with a lip liner. This is Chestnut by MAC. Um, I usually go for this all the time, so we're going to try it out with that. And this is usually what I do to all of my lip glosses. I kind of like the little 90s look where, you know, the lip liner stands out a lot. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. Mm. So heavenly like and we cannot forget the earrings the earrings are life the last thing I'm gonna do is spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray Ooh. yeah this is my full face natural beat with Fenty Beauty products I absolutely love all of these products my favorites have to be the lip gloss the foundation the the matchsticks as well as I actually really do like the primer so far but we're gonna see how it holds up but everything is amazing what I could pass on definitely is the highlighting brush as well as the trophy wipe even though I feel like this is a must-have just because it's so iconic to her launch so I had to get it I definitely could have passed on those few things and probably even the bottom sheets because I do have that as well but I was gifted those from the event so <laughs> Oh. Anyway, shout out to Rihanna for coming out with a bomb, amazing, and inclusive collection. Well, makeup line or launch, like this was amazing, and the products are A1 quality. So definitely get your hands on some of the Fenty Beauty. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm not a makeup guru, or I never really review makeup lines, but I had to do it when Rihanna came out with this collection. So yeah, if you guys are not yet subscribed to my vlog channel or my couple channel, you can definitely check it out right here. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video, and deuces!